Have you been seeing the number 555 everywhere? Then you're going to want to pay attention and watch this video. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. Have you been seeing the number 555 five, five everywhere? Perhaps on your clock, maybe on license plates, addresses, showing up just about everywhere. Well, this video is going to explain some information that you likely won't find anywhere else. But first, Today, we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Reminder to be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon because we have a new and empowering video for you every day, Monday through Friday on the law of attraction, personal empowerment, and the latest in the mind sciences designed to empower your life. Our philosophy is very, very simple. You deserve the money you desire, the love you crave and the health that you depend upon. We've helped people in 60 different countries and we're still doing it. We're absolutely excited. Now, People see 1111, 333, 444, a number of different sequences. But when you see the number 555 repetitively, especially if you're seeing it several times, this is a huge signal to you from the universe. And you need to beware because what it really means Five in the Kabbalah and the ancient mystery schools is the number of Gabura. It's the number of power. It's the number of will. It's the number of strength. And so when you're seeing it three times, you're seeing it in three different layers or three different worlds of manifestation, as we call it. And so it's coming from divine source energy. This is a message coming from divine source through three layers of manifestation into your life. This is a huge warning, but it's also a positive message as well. So let me explain. The universe is sending you a huge, gigantic message. One time, Many, many, many years ago, I had a business that was doing pretty well. It was billing about a million dollars a year. And that was back in the late seventies. And it was doing, it was doing well. It wasn't living up to its potential. That business crashed. It crashed and burned. But guess what? Guess what I saw repetitively before the business crashed and burned? I saw the number five, 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 at least four or five days in a row on different license plates. Now, back then we didn't have the internet, so I didn't have that opportunity to see it on a digital clock, but I saw it on license plates, five, five, five. It was a warning that that, that existing business needed to crash and burn, clear it out in order for something bigger and better to come along. And certainly something bigger and better did come along and I made a lot more money at it. So the point I'm trying to make is, is that just because something is crashing and burning, something is going through what we call the destructive phase, isn't necessarily bad news, but it's something you need to be aware of. You need to take close look at it because it's saying something is going to change in your life. Now let's say, for example, you're in a relationship and you're in, you're married. We'll use that as an example. And you're seeing the number five, five, 
five coming up all the time. And it's important to you to have a good marriage. Then I would take inventory right then and there. I mean, stop everything. Pull your car over to the side of the road and stop and take inventory of your behavior, your marriage, your feelings, what's been going on in your marriage. Look, just because God or the universe sends you a sign doesn't mean you can't change the outcome. As long as you have time, as long as you have breath, as long as you have opportunity, you can still change the outcome. I could have changed the outcome of that business back in the seventies from crashing and burning. I could have changed it, but I chose not to change it because I was in a bad partnership and I didn't want to continue in that partnership. So I allowed the business to crash and burn. We ended up selling off the business and we moved our separate directions and just as well, things worked out for my partner, things worked out for me as well. So high flyers, what this means is if you have the plans of building a skyscraper and there's a little old dilapidated house on the lot that you want to build this skyscraper, you have to tear that down first. That's what five, five, five means. You're tearing it down so that you can build something new, something exciting, something bigger. Tearing something down can be devastating. It can be painful or it can be exhilarating and exciting and refreshing. It really depends on how you choose to view it how you choose to look at it. Understand this, when you're seeing the number five, 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 an increase of power is coming into your life. Say it to yourself right now. I accept an increase of power in my life. The power to create the life you desire, an incredible relationship, more money, better finances, abundance, prosperity, health. I accept the increase in power. Write it down below. I accept the increase in power. So understand Gabura in the Kabbalah. It means power. It means destruction, but there's a reason for the destruction. Something new is going to be planted in the ground, a new seed, but we've got to clear out all the debris. You know, when I used to garden, we used to every year before we started gardening, we had to clear out all the debris in order to plant new seed. New direction is coming into your life. New power is coming into your life. New love, new joy, new prosperity, new abundance is now coming into your life. If you are seeing the number five, 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 but you're going to go through a change to get there. And it might be a little painful. You might want to hang on and clutch on to the past. So ask yourself, is it worth clutching onto the past? If it is, you still have time to change it. You can still say, look at, I want to keep what's here. I don't want it to go away. Here's the changes I'm going to make. Here's the vibrational changes I'm going to make in my life in order to keep and preserve what I have. Otherwise, let it go, baby, and let it flow. Let it go completely. Let the destructive power of the universe hit the, hit it with a lightning bolt and blow it up and start new. Now, one of the ways that you can truly start new with your life. And I mean, this is by reprogramming your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is 90% of how you manifest. You only manifest 10% with a conscious mind. The conscious mind is not a great manifester. You need a subconscious mind that is working in harmony, working in power and tandem 
in alignment with your conscious mind. We've created an incredible website called Miracle Hypnosis Online. Miracle Hypnosis Online. And it's designed to use all of my skills and knowledge to help your subconscious mind transform into the manifesting power that it's designed to be in your life because you need that subconscious mind working with you, not against you. You need to eliminate limiting beliefs and doubts and fears and pain and worry and apprehension. And you can do that by going to our website and checking this out. We've put some very, very cool things, some very cool tools you will not find anywhere else on this website. And we're working on it day and night just for you. Our goal to empower 1 million people in the next 365 days. So you can increase your power, increase your, uh, the miracles that are happening in your life. And if you're seeing five, 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 hang on, baby, it's going to be a ride. I mean, it's going to be a ride, but you're going to get to where you desire to go. Have a great day because you absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye now.